Breeze, welcome back to my channel, Regina Favorite. And today, me and my dad are me talking about how to start a YouTube channel and grow it under 18 years old. But today, our main focus is going to be talking about the fears of starting a channel and stuff like that. So, what do you think about this, Dad? That's a good question, Reviews with Avery. I think in the beginning, I was a little bit nervous to kind of start a video. I didn't really want my family involved. I know you're younger than 18, so I wasn't really sure it was a great idea. But I think after we've gotten into things, I realized there's a lot of advantages of doing videos together. I've noticed that to, we spend more quality time kind of going through and planning what videos we're going to do, how much time we're going to spend on it, how many different items we're going to review. So I think it's been very helpful for our relationship and spending quality time together. What do you think, Avery? I really agree. I think you really have to like know how to start a YouTube channel and know how long you want to make your video and if you want to do like clips. You have to know what you're like looking for and you don't have to buy stuff to like do in a video. You can like do a room tour like or just review something you already have or something like that. Yeah, I agree. And I think a big thing is, you know, my older two kids played sports and they were doing those type things and we're always out doing, you know, practices and different things like that, where Avery was more into, you know, coloring and doing those type of activities and, you know, like to review things on her iPad and going through those type items. So what we really decided is, you know, it's a great idea together. You know, we like to do this together. It's quality time. Um, we also do a lot of reviews on things that we think help other kids like her that maybe are a little bit shy at times or, you know, different points, uh, you know, they, they get nervous around different kids. I think doing these videos has definitely opened you up a little bit and allowed you to be a little bit more personable and maybe overcome some of your fears that you have um, by being on camera. I agree. I really think you you can also grow a business like on a website or you can just stick to like just YouTube videos. But there's all different types of levels like when you first start your channel or like when you grow it and like it gets up there. There's all different things like that you have to like follow. I agree. It's been great quality time together. I think it's keeping you motivated because you're paying attention to views and subscribers. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a scoreboard in sports, I like to say. So you like seeing your, your channel grow and we like doing this together as a family. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm excited to what we're going to keep doing together. I think we're going to do a lot of new content. I think we have a lot of good ideas. But again, I think spending that quality time together, going through and planning on the next videos that we're going to do has really helped, you know, spend quality time together, maybe time we didn't have before we started this channel. I agree. I also think when you're doing like a video, you also have to like, um, you have to like make sure like you're doing like the right thing or you can't make it like if you messed up in a video or walk away you can't just walk away and leave your video on camera if you want to like unbox something or you can either unbox on videos you also want a little like mixture of like long form videos and no stopping or just like little clips of something so it looks like realistic and or videos like that yeah i agree and the last thing i wanted to touch on is i know a lot of the videos you talk about anxiety and doing different things like that and fidgets you kind of focus on mm -hmm. and squishies and slimes and slimes exactly i think I think those are great for kids that have anxiety or get nervous or at school that you know they have a little bit of a tough time I think mm -hmm. utilizing some of those fidgets and different things you talk about really help kids out with anxiety can you touch on that a little bit Avery yeah I also feel like if you're having a hard day or you just like squish your stress ball you're playing this time I feel like it really really help calm down your emotions and not make you as stressed and just be happy for the day I agree with you. So we're going to bring a lot of cool content for you. We're going to stay together here with Reviews with Avery and keep reviewing fidgets and plushies and slimes and really everything in between to help kids that fight anxiety. And I think what you're doing is great and admirable, Avery, with the Reviews with Avery and everything you're doing on camera. It's exciting stuff. So mm -hmm. you maybe want to say one last thing to, yeah. to everybody before we wrap this up? I also really enjoy getting to see myself on YouTube and having all these people who watch my videos. And I really enjoy having people who support me. So thank you, everybody. Bye, guys. Thank you.